welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about that time I got to learn how to cook Moroccan food. So me being a foodie, I love to cook. I love to cook and I love to eat. Food is life. You already know that, you already know how I get down. And so I was just super excited when the opportunity came across for me and my husband and some people that we know to engage in an opportunity to learn how to cook Moroccan food. And it was pretty amazing. So we got to the location where we were going to take the cooking class. And the first thing that we saw were snacks. And so our cooking instructor, I forget what her name is. She was super nice and she introduced herself and was amazing and she laid out snacks for us to try and they were really amazing just little niblet nibbles nibbles I can't say that well um, they were just little bites to eat and um, very delicious and she also started off by giving us traditional Moroccan mint tea the person making it showed us how to do it it is like black tea with mint leaves and some sugar and you steep it in a special pot and all of this stuff and it was very amazing very traditional mint tea is like one of my favorite things to drink here in morocco so i was really happy to start my day off with some mint tea because it was amazing and after that we got straight into the actual cooking portion so the first thing we learned how to do was make the bread so there are so many different varieties of bread you can get here in morocco and i don't actually remember the type of bread that we learned how to make i know that we learned how to make I think a pita bread and then we made a pan bread as well so we made something that went in a pan on the stove and then in the oven which was super amazing we got to roll out our own bread and then shape it and everything and that was pretty cool I already know how to make bread I know how to make all different kinds of bread so it was just really cool to see how other people make bread and how it's very similar to how I traditionally make bread when I do my thing as well. So then the next thing that we get into is cooking the meat. So I loved how our teacher actually told us how to make everything in the way that it should be because you know you want to make sure that everything is done at the same time and if you for example don't cook the meat first or don't cook the bread first and you wait until all of the smaller dishes are being cooked then you'll have to wait for the rest of the meal to be finished and let me just say this whole meal took like three hours to cook and i mean i don't think that it traditionally might take that long if you are you know not serving a huge gigantic crowd but for the amount of people that we had and because she had to teach us it did in fact take our instructor like three hours to get everything situated with our help and all of that stuff too so that was interesting and that's something just so that you know when you cook make sure there's some sort of order to it because it is important and we made some other dishes like fish balls those are really good We made some traditional Moroccan salad, really good and really fresh, which is something that I love about the food here. For dessert, we had an orange dessert where our instructor used orange water, I believe is what it's called. She and her family, you know, make this stuff and it's really good and it's really fragrant. So we had that and it has cinnamon on it as well. So that topped off our entire meal. So we learned how to make all of the courses of this traditional Moroccan meal, which was super amazing. And then we sat down and we ate so well. Everything was so good. I think it was kind of sweet because I took part in helping make the meal and I got to watch the process and all of that stuff. I just thought it was so amazing. I was just so proud of all of the work that goes into a cool meal like this. Definitely when you come to Morocco, you have to get some tangine, you have to get some of the lovely bread, some Moroccan salad and all of that good stuff because you're definitely going to enjoy yourselves and yeah. I know that sometimes story time should have some conflict and some drama, but this was a no drama, no conflict story. I'm just telling you about one of the cool days I had while being here in Morocco. It's my story as an expat. You know, you wanna get out as much as you can when you do live overseas and get yourself immersed into daily life like other people. I mean, it's different if you're just traveling and just vacationing you know you can do some of the touristy things but it is a great benefit when you do live somewhere 
overseas to actually engage in the culture and the local customs and things like that and yeah just show your appreciation for being somewhere different and enjoy yourself so, so that's all i hope you all have been enjoying the fez videos that i have put up um that fez trip was really fun really amazing and i think by the time you watch this video all of the videos should be up I've got some other videos coming for you all very soon let me know in the comment section below what kind of videos you'd like to see from me or where you'd like to see me go or what you'd like to see us do and or try if you have not done so already make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can be notified for all my future videos you don't want to miss out and give this video a thumbs up there is a seagull guys there's a seagull outside he's gigantic oh my gosh okay let me try and get the camera he's open Whew. Hello? Oh my gosh, she's jike freaking gantic. Oh my gosh, she's looking at me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, she's so big. <laughs> Hi. Hello? Yeah, you're pretty, pretty big. Okay, so now that I'm done freaking out. <sighs> Make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that I can tell if you like these types of videos. And I think that's it. I'm going to go catch my breath because words freak me out just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'll talk to you all in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.